What are you doing? <laughs> I'm seven fiends, obviously. That is a doll type fiend. A doll that was turned into a fiend. That's stating the obvious. No, there's something that is not so obvious. The owner of the doll. The owner? If the doll is exposed to blue blood, that means its owner was also in danger of turning into a fiend. But have you ever seen a doll fiend paired with a human fiend? You haven't, right? You know, come think of it. Alright, tell me your theory. What do you think happened? My first theory is that some dolls were destroyed by their owners after they learned what Blue Blood could do. My second theory is that the dolls themselves came to their owner's aid, and shielded them from the Blue Blood. Wait, are you saying that the doll came to life to protect its owner from the Blue Blood? In my home country, it's said that all tools that have been used with love and devotion contain souls. Even without being exposed to Blue Blood, small tools that lived a good life can still make their will known. Your home country sounds interesting. I'd like to visit it someday. I'll take you someday. It's a great place. In exchange, you'll have to be my assistant. Yeah, I'm not interested anymore. No! Oh. And the event is all the way over there. Can I take this boat? No. What? But I hope I have to go around for this one. If that is the case. To the museum. Oh, a new little location. Let's go. Well then. Oh, it's Chris! Hi, Chris! You just missed them. The lot of these are resting comfortably in my stomach. I didn't come here to help them. I was just looking for the letter they had. Are you talking about this? Give it to me. There's someone waiting for it. The situation has changed. This thing. Ugh. Why? Ah, fine. Whatever. Just you better get blown up when I win. Go, Gallop, go! Ooh, and it launches them into the air! I didn't know that part. It makes this much easier. He just launches them, I slash them, and then everyone wins. One more time. And I think we're done here. Ba 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 ba. And then memory! Give me some memory. You came on a small shoddy boat, didn't you? If we were just normal girls, do you think we'd ever meet have met Arnis? Most likely not, but hey, yeah, this is how it counts. Seems like seems you got stronger, half blood. You promised. Give me the letter. Now that the nuisance is gone, finish what you came here to do. Ta-da! Yes, ta-ta indeed. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh, just as I expected. Here's the letter. Why don't you return to the hotel and read it? Then there's no point. Here you go. Why does this jewelry have... What does this jewelry have to do with anything? Still don't get it. Read the letter. My beloved Lloyd, after discussing it with my family, has been decided that we shall evacuate to the mainland. Will I be returning to Westwall for the foreseeable future? In other words, this is goodbye. Your love... Your love was false. I know that by now. The only thing you loved about me was my fortune. I... I wish I could fly over to you and kick your ass. But I will hold back. Oh! Ha! Wow! Oh! I was, I was actually kind of hoping that, that was some, there was some kind of catch to this. And sure enough, that's the catch. I've hidden the one thing you desire behind the tree where you, we used to meet. Try to get it as you, at your own risk. You unbelievable bastard. Wow! Well, I got violent quick. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, I'm back. Welcome back, my lady. As you as well, you bastard. <laughs> Lord Charles fast. What were you thinking, using my lady to recover jewelry from a normal woman? The Kuriyami cast a judgment upon you. 
I follow the little lady's strength for love. I'm not like you guys who use the lissy to make her do what you want. Love, you say? Yeah, for love! Ah, the flame of life. Come to Papa. Ah, tastes like licorice. Simon, give me the usual, please. I need to drown my sorrows. I thought all through the night until my head started hurting, and here you guys are acting like idiots. Well then, little lady, are you saying we should fight and risk the fate of the world? What is? Why can't we have one day like today? I guess so. Wait, really? Well, I suppose one day won't hurt. Why do I have a feeling that's going to be a detriment to the story? Got that feeling, and there's that. Tee -hee. And then we're on chapter six. No, I'm guessing no scenario. Nope, that's it then. Anything new here? Nope, same as old, same as old. But I just remember something. The gate. I didn't activate it again. Oh, I hope we don't have to go back there. Which I probably will, but hey, I hope it's not that bad. Let's head on to the lobby. Good morning, my lady. Morning, my lady. Good morning, Annis. Good morning, Annis. Good morning, Melissa. Oh, here I thought we were gonna miss this. Yay! I'm happy. No one levels up from looks of things. Yeah, no one's gonna level up. Uh-uh. Activity report today. Hopefully by now we have enough to actually get the daytime up. I really want it. Story through Melody. Isn't the same thing? Uh, yeah, I think it's the same thing. We got an Alexandrite, but that's about it. And I think we're done. How did these get in here? I don't know. I hope they know it's the air currents. Come on, butterflies. Jason is over here. Well, that was random. Hello there, cute little kitty cats. I'm tired. Meow. Meow. Yeah, but that's our being fish of our grimmelkins. You're a cat. You know what I'm talking about. Meow. Since I can't be active during the day, I can rest at night. Meow. <laughs> meow, meow. Meow. Sorry. I only for the tools right now. Aw, poor kitty. Huh? Meow. That black hat is vicious. Seriously, more vicious than my cats. Well, when they decide to actually go after each other, jeez. That actually kind of sucks. Alright. Anything new without a cupcake? I didn't know cupcakes like this existed. Don't be shy, dig in! Uh, uh okay. And we don't even eat it. We're just turning our back as if it never existed. Okay. Oh yeah, I... 33% chance that one of these guys will have their main mission, and the other 66 will go towards randomness. Let's start off with Simon. Dang it! One three chance! My lady, there's anything about living here that is an inconvenience to you? Not at all. I'm living comfortably thanks to you. My bed's fluffy, and the hot cocoa here is very tasty. Not too kind. By the, by the way, my lady, can I borrow your powers of deduction for a moment? Powers of... deduction? Hmm. Eternal love. You read romance novels, Simon? This is a mystery novel based on a real-life murder about a young woman who is killed under bizarre circumstances. I see. 
Her father was unusually devoted to her because she was the spitting image of her his late wife. The villain is a baron who blackmailed the daughter into an engagement, and an ambitious butler with his own agenda. Hmm, sounds interesting. The culprit is one of these three, but as you can see, the pages have been painted black. How terrible. Only the Curia would have engaged in this kind of censorship. Speaking of censorship, the Defiant God must be connected to the demons somehow. I wonder what happened there. At any rate, I'm dying to know how this ends. Who do you think the murderer is? Give your best educated guess. You accepted the quest, murder on paper. Your deduction skills are my last hope. Hmm, I think... Let's see. Millionaire father, baron, fiancé, ambitious butler. Who would kill the person? Let's see. An ambitious butler with his own agendas, which we don't know much about. A millionaire father who was in who saw the daughter as a spinning image of his late wife. So I don't see how an agenda could be there unless he's killing her so he wouldn't feel guilty. Like freaking Astro Boy. Baron fiance, he's bad, but when it comes to mysteries, you never it's never the the true bad guy. That's one thing I've learned. Just because they are bad, they act bad, does not always mean they are the culprit. I'm going with the butler. It's the butler who did it! If Zero C is telling me anything, it's to always blame the butler. Maybe the butler did it. The daughter has a had a terrible secret that a Baron used to force an engagement, right? Maybe the butler knew that secret too, and was planning to marry her before something went wrong. I see. I have considered that. Neither had I! I literally was just going based on stereotypes! As I expected from you, Lady Honest. I'm satisfied. Now I feel like I can begin reading a new book. You have completed Murder on Paper. Enjoy your next book. So there's that mini quest. And yet we still don't have the freaking what was it? Uh, that one music quest that he has. I don't even know if we completed that, technically. Maybe? Maybe I wasn't paying attention? Who knows? Uh, Lloyd? Hey, little lady. Thanks to you, my morning's been going great. How nice for you. So blunt. Alucard? Oh, the black butterflies have multiplied. The wall is coming to an end. Okay. And again. Lloyd told me about your little letter disposal quest. Between you and me, he's the worst person here, isn't he? I'm standing right here. But I'll... If you're fighting for a man like him, why won't you be my assistant? Um, that's hard to explain. It's probably because you're such a persistent creep about it. Perhaps you are too forceful? Maybe it's because you refer to her as a research subject. Well, because... Oh. You know what? That actually is a good point. Why don't we want to be her his assistant? I mean, besides the obvious research project thing, that's kind of... Uh, creepy. Take that out. What's wrong with being an assistant? I'd love to be a scientist assistant. You know work around in science labs, have a, you know, a long white lab coat on, mix chemicals all together. It'd be, it'd be much better than chemistry is. I'll say that much. But, yeah. Okay, so it's officially Lilissi who has the quest for us. And we got enough time, so let's knock the thing out. Simon told me what happened. It sounds like you had a rough time. Yeah, kinda. But you know, some days are just like that. You have a kind heart, but sometimes you're too nice. That's why you get taken advantage of. Really? I wouldn't have never guessed. I worry about you. Thanks, Lucy. I appreciate that. But seriously, where's the main quest? Lloyd? Nope. 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 Do we need to leave then? Or does it say here in the scenario thingy? 
Oh, here we go. Grace, black butterflies mean that the night is closer. Keep buying you as the night approaches. So, it's just... Use my free time? Is there anything in the town map? Okay, here we go. This explains it. Crap! I knew it. The night is getting stronger. Oh, good. Just the person I want to talk to. Simon. You were once a knight tasked with protecting the saints. You should know where the blue altar is located. Even though the blue altar is fake, I can still use it to sense the knight's presence. No matter what happens, I'll prove I can do it. That's right. You've seen the Milana moon. And that's why I can get straight to the... The previous seal has finally lifted. Whether we see morning again depends on when the Night Lord decides to awaken. Ugh. The Curia will proceed to the third phase of that strategy. You also have new orders from the Vox Curia. Access to a new altar has been granted. Demonstrate your power to the Curia, and they will officially recognize you as the Saint's Guardian. A holy night. That is all. First they use me. Now they want to test me? What will happen if I fail? A new Holy Knight would be selected, of course. We would still need someone to confirm the Seal's integrity and the Saint's delivery to the Night Lord. I see. So you're saying a Holy Knight's duty is to watch the Saint sacrifice herself? Someone has to do it. Everything has a cost. No exceptions. All I have to do is support me is my will, remember? In the end, you're just one of their lackeys. Incorrect. I strive to remain neutral. But now it's... Still no Pope. It's sad, I knew. Meow. Now all I can do is relay the wishes of the Fox Curia. I get it. I just gotta go where this new altar is, right? Please be careful, my lady. Understood. Let's go. Exit the town map and look for your look for the destination. Chapter six: The Waxing of Time. The seal's broken. Night awakens. She wrestles with the storm brewing inside her. Why must she be tested at this very moment? I don't know, honestly. I am very unaware. Looks like we got a new event that popped up, and I'm guessing that's where we need to, uh, we need to take care of here? Yes? No? Proceed to the art museum for your final test as a knight. First proceed toward the canal museum front. Okay. Okay, but... I was not expecting that. You got inside again. Alyssi. And there's a bunch of events, of course, of course. A freaking course. <sighs> nope, can't level up quite yet. Well, time's almost up. I think I'll wait till next session to uh, take care of all of this. Because this is a lot of events for me, man. It really is, it's ridiculous. But yeah, either way, guys. That's going to do it for this session of Knights of Azure. If you guys did enjoy, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Share this video with your friends, should you feel the need to. And of course, if you are new here to the channel and want to see more Knights of Azure as it comes out daily, along with any other series I decide to throw into the mixer, then make sure you have subscribed and join the Dreadnoughts and Arnis in our quest to test her strengths and capabilities and become the official Holy Knight for Lilithi. And, hopefully in the end, we can save her. And also, on an unrelated note, we can take care of all these events! Because seriously, there's too many. Just too many. But hey, until next time, this is Mighty Force signing out. Have a great day. 
take care and I hope to see you guys tomorrow with some more Knights of Azure.